we went from one source of boil water to another source of boil water and the boil water is pretty much undrinkable. It's a murky sort of colour. Like I said before, it leaves it. You can do this to your skin and then it'll leave flakes come off it. That's after having a shower. You don't feel like you had a shower. You feel dirtier after you have a shower, but you wash yourself with soap and it still leaves the soap on you. If we have an empty house for longer than a month, we have to chisel through the calcium to get re return on the taps. Our tank water is not palatable and not drinkable because of the extreme coli levels. Other than the, a few of the community members that are used to drinking it would get extreme diarrhoea from the tank water. I'm principal of the school here at Wild Hollow Public School and the drinking water for the community isn't great at all. In fact, it tastes terrible. Our meeting place within our little family is my mother's house. The kids know that if they eat hungry or they're thirsty, always go to grandma's. My mother goes through roughly four 10 litres of water a day and that is a lot of money when we've lived so far out from the bigger towns. Cultural knowledge and language are the forefront of Aboriginal people who we are. That's how we tell our story and that's how we pass our song lines through intergenerational families and that's what keeps us strong and gives us strong ties and to boundaries and shows us who we are, where we are and where we're from. Water, the water spirits, you know, that, that, uh, you know plays a very important part uh, for our people's way of life. You know, not only to our people, but to all human beings. Water is very, very important. Interestingly enough, uh, here in Australia, we found out that there was a community, an Indigenous community, that didn't actually have access to drinkable water, which is funny because it's a first world country, so you would expect that the community, everyone, should have access to what we would consider a basic human right. So we wanted to find a way to actually help this community and the best way to do that was to find a way to give them clean drinking water and that was through the hydro panels. When we were first approached by Peace Train and said that I've got a hydro panel system that will give you free drinking water, it's hard to fathom, get your head around how the water gets turned, how to get from the sun into getting drinking water. The simplicity of it is hard to explain, but when you get out and see it, and see how it's done, it's just, you think, well, why isn't this in every community in the outback? Because it's that accessible and that easy to get, and we are the driest continent on Earth, but one thing we do have is sun. Hey! When we had that initial phone call and had the conversation and this was brought up about the hydro panels. Look, I jumped with both hands and said, mate, this is, this is life changing. This is something that will be beneficial towards our community for generations to come. Not just now, but just now, into the, into the foreseeable five, 10, 15, 20 years down the patch track. These panels will still be here when we're long gone. Still producing free water for our community. So Peace Train's actually uh, built water wells in developing countries all over the world uh, and we thought within Australia the best way to actually do that was to use the country's best natural resource which is the sun. Uh, so the panels are actually solar powered uh, and what they do is they take humidity from the air and they process that changing it into accessible clean and safe drinking water that's actually running in a pipe system right under the panels uh, and then it's connected to a tap that the community can directly access, fill up their water bottles, fill up their jerry cans and their buckets um, and use that at home. Having this fountain here is just has helped us so much. Just having fresh drinking water available, it takes a load off us because as we've spoken about is that no one should be denied fresh drinking water. With this coming into the community now, it's really helped our people in community. Nice, fresh drinking water. It's a game changer for people in this village um, to have access to, to, to great quality water and, uh, and to have it really free of charge. It's a life changer for our community and it's something that we were forever grateful. 
we thank the foundation, the Peace Train Foundations, for um, coming along and helping community uh, and, and raising the funds uh, for such a worthy cause of that nice, fresh, clean water. Water is life. Water is there for everybody this year. 